Hi, I'm Steve Spiker. I work on developer tooling and experience with OpenShift. Let's we'll explore how to get OpenShift 4 going on your laptop. I'm on try.openshift.com. We'll go ahead and let's get started. So there's a couple different ways you can get into it. One is uh, obviously you got to register as your um, with the Red Hat IED. You come in, you look for the right uh, provider. So the laptop is a new addition here in developer preview that's powered by Red Hat code ready containers. And likewise, if I came at it from uh, cloud.redhat.com, I could come in here, I could open to the infrastructure to my cloud manager, and I could create a cluster ending up in the same place. So let's go ahead and click on this. Um, we can see there's a number of things here. A nice warning about this is a developer preview, and this is really about running OpenShift on your laptop. Uh, this is going to set up a minimal Red Hat OpenShift 4.2 cluster. Um, there's a number of steps here. So it talks about running setup, uh, download a few things, uh, the binary, and then the full secret. So uh, I've downloaded this and the uh, secret already. I also started a few things locally. So let's see, I've uh, started the empty directory. I've uh, copied in my pull secret. I extracted the uh, CLI tool CRC here. I went ahead and made it executable on my machine and I added it to my path. So let's do a quick exploration. So now I can do CRC version. Let's see what we have. Yep, uh, 10 beta 3. If we want to see what uh, all things it can do, we just type CRC, um, get the dump of the commands. Uh, you can open the console. Uh, it's great. Delete IP, whatever. Uh, let's get the IP address of the instance. All kinds of great things. Um, let's now we run in CRC setup, get things set up. I've run this before, so it's double checking, everything looks good. And now we just simply run CRC start. Uh, so it's uh, seeing that a few things are already there, it's checking for file, file permissions. And since I've done it before, um, it's actually going to start a stop VM instead of creating the VM. So this uh, I did this way just so it'd be a little bit uh, quicker to uh, to start up. Um, so doing some checking, making sure network's okay, restarting if needed. And now, uh, now that it's done all its pre-flight checks, it's time to uh, spin up that cluster. Okay, our cluster has started. We can see there's information on how to get it up and running. So there's the OC command. We can run this eval um, to set our environment, local environment. So we do this. Uh, we can now see OC version. Uh, we can see its uh, OC status. So we do some exploration. Let's get started. Uh, since I logged in before, so if I wanted to, I could just follow this command line here to log in, um, which is just saying log in as cube admin. Here's the temporary generate, generate password, which is highlight here. Uh, there's a console if I want to get started. Um, so let's take a look at the the CRC command line again. Uh, we see there's this console here. If I want to see the IP address, we already saw how to set up OC ENV. So let's go CRC console. Um, so there we go. It fires up uh, an instance of the OpenShift console. We can see all the information of the things that are running the cluster. We want to use the browser interface. Um, let's continue with this CLI for a bit. So we want to make sure our instance is up and running. So um, let me just clear this real quick so we can make it very simple. Uh, all the normal OC commands work as you would normally expect with the project. So let's do a simple uh, my project one. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new app. So OC new new app. Let's do the HTTPD uh, example. Um, if you want to follow along, I mean the OC new app does a good job of of telling you like there's a route created so you can follow along there. You can see there's a service, there's a route, there's an image stream build config. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, follow the logs associated with that build config. So things moving along pretty quickly. Um, now let's go ahead and well, let's do just a um, HTTP head command on that. So just give a status to make sure it's running. Um, not available yet. Let's do build 
Uh, deployment's running for 18 seconds. Okay, so the deployment's still running. I uh, just need to be a little more patient. Um, okay, so number one is deployed. So if we go back to our curl command, you can see it worked. And there we go, we were able to uh, start uh, with basically nothing. Uh, set up CRC, code ready containers, which gave us a local OpenShift 4.1 running on my laptop. I could interact simply with the CRC command line and then quickly use OC just as I normally would work with any OpenShift cluster itself. Be sure to check out um, all the different options of code ready containers. Uh, be on the lookout for um, new changes coming. Um, we'll be uh, updating it often so check back it does require to, to re reset up delete and recreate it because uh, these are locally cached instances and so we'll be improving that as time goes on and also please provide feedback on anything that you see as well we'd love to hear things you like or don't like and we want to make sure you're you're able to uh, be successful with running this on your laptop thank you